All right, I, I remember I had a bike rack on my old car and Jake was inquisitive. Like, damn, you know what you be doing? And certain Jake's, they got inspired like, man, I'm gonna go and get me a bike. Yeah. Cause I had a little bike and I'd take it to a uh, little, you know, the little woods, the trails. Yeah. You know? Hey man, it, it, it's all spiritual because you know, uh, me and the elder, we do ride share. And we'll tell you, man, that you will uh, step inside the whip. You don't know what world you didn't enter into. Yeah, yeah. I say, oh, um, I picked up this one, you know, Jake woman, you know, older chick, you know, and um, and she was like, oh, what's that smell? She was like, that smell good. You know, she smelled the incense. But then also, you know, I had put some spray up in the car or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But it smelled good. And she was like, you made me want to burn some incense. I got to, yeah. as soon as I get off, I got to give me some. Hey, you know what, you know what's heavy? We inspire. Yeah. Not we just as me and you. But the spirit on us. It, the spirit on us and the spirit the brothers be in. The, the spirit of your how about spot was shot, it inspires, man. Yeah. Just just think about it. Like you got rap songs, right? Mm -hmm. They inspire you to do negative stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well they might inspire you to go and make money. Yeah. You know, but you through the spirit, man, the spirit to be on brothers, you go to different camps. Brothers inspire you to explore different things, man. That's right. The brothers inspire you to step out your comfort zone. Hey, since you said there's a coin, um, but well, well, last night, um, you know, when I was on the phone with you, you know, when I was with, uh, you know, the family, but pretty much, you know, Jake in the Stone Store, he thought we was celebrities. I heard, I heard him on the other end of the phone. Yeah, he was like, man, are you guys famous? Like, hold on, I, I know you're from somewhere. I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like you probably do. I ain't telling them. Yeah. You know? But just show you how powerful the spirit or the vibration the Lord got on us, man. But um, since the elder had said what he said, basically. Hey, for you brothers, man, and it's something that we all should do, use brothers in your camp. And what I mean is, brothers not there for no reason. Yeah. Like, for example, you know, you see us with the water, you know, and I could be honest, I wasn't drinking water like that, like heavy, like I'm drinking it now, till I seen certain brothers in our camp drinking the water. Yep. You know, we, we got to inspire each other. You see certain brothers working out. Yep. Shit, you start working out. Like, that's what, well, like, uh, Elder Abaya has said, that conduction. Yep. You know? See, when we, uh, when we teach this truth, you know, we, uh, we're, we're, we're spiritually uh, trading the Lord's talents. Now, we do that on the highways and hedges. We do it on the videos, daily videos. But also, even within these camps, you know, that's a time for exchanging information and time for growth, man. Like, you're not around these men for nothing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But by the side, we could go to one of those benches. Trying to work. Because I was just thinking, like, some men, they're not going to sit there and break down every scripture to you. Right. You know, some men, they're not going to, you know... They're not, they're not talking about the scriptures like that. But it's their patterns. Yep. It's their patterns like, okay, I picked up on certain men. As soon as they get up in the morning, or they exercise, what they do, they videos, then they exercise. They wake up and read. Wake up and read. And that's a good pattern, man. And that inspired me to move my pattern and change my pattern, man. You know, whenever, you know, you, as soon as you get a break, you exercise, then you do a video. What I learned is, once you break a sweat, you know, more things come on your spirit mm -hmm. when you do a video. Get them damn toxins out. Get them toxins out, man. And yeah, how about smile shot is all about getting them toxins out, man. <laughs> brother uh, bro had broke it down. The uh, other toxins one from Atlanta. Toxins are like demons. Wow. You know, you, like, you sweating out them impurities, man. Hey, and it's heavy because it's all about like you 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 went into it also. It's a it's about that environment. It's that yeah. environment inside your mind. If you have a filthy environment inside of your mind, that attracts demons, man. Yeah. That's why you got certain habits that it overly stimulates your flesh and it chokes out the spirit, man. Right. You know, it might not be a sin, but it creates a filthy environment for, for the spirit, man. Yeah, because yeah. uh, the spiritual demon Satan, he loves you being, when I say you, I mean us. He loves us being in a, an unclean state. That way it's easier for him to infiltrate us, man. But, we, you know, when we are engulfed in the spirit and surround ourselves with more spiritual things, he can't really mess with us. It's like a body that's all the way alkaline. You know, um, yep. it's, it's no room for a disease. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not acidic. The con. But hey, 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 bro. One thing, like I said, like, like you, you brought up the lesson, man. Having an abundance mentality. Yeah. You know, stepping outside the nigga box. It's really a nigga box that we stepping outside of. Yeah, it is. Because what happens is, is it's one thing to know the truth and you know you're an Israelite. But all of your habits and all of your hobbies never changed. You see, so you still got you still got Travante, all right, uh, nigga, uh, habits, man. <laughs> that nigga in the closet hanging up somewhere. Yeah, you put that nigga on. Yeah, you put that nigga on, man. You just gave him fringes. But no, we got to step outside the nigga box. Mm -hmm. See, this is a we in a post slavery era. This is a post slavery era 
So we're post, we're, we're recovering slaves. Okay. So one of the things you have to do as a recovering slave is realize that you're not gonna get shot or killed for stepping outside that gun line. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get shot or killed if you uh, deal with a woman outside your nation. If you leave your state, you know, because when you are when you are a, a, a broken slave, you, you you know your place, mm -hmm. you know. But when you when you are free from slave. You gotta get your feet wet with stepping out your comfort zone, man. And that's what that, that puts confidence in you. One thing I can speak for myself, I desire freedom, man. I desire freedom more than a lot of things, man. So anything that can I can make my money and stay free, that's what I'm into, man. Yep. You know? And you know, you need certain things to shock your system. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, cause that uncomfortability, it can't do nothing but just make you grow. Yep. You just see, okay. The world is not exactly how I think it is when it comes to every single thing that I think about. You know, it's it's a world outside of my head. Yep. You know, and I mean, yep. that's why you have certain brothers getting into different languages. You know, eating certain food. You know, I mean, really, you just open up to life. Life is not just you know, uh, you know, fat asses and uh and nigga music, man. Yep, yep, yep. You know, that, it, yep. No, go ahead, bro. No, go ahead. And and not to say you know you don't like you know beautiful women or. Or, or rap music, because sometimes we listen to that stuff, but it's it's bigger, man. Like once once again, an abundance mindset. Then you know? it's it's more it's more to women than Eve. You know, after a while, most most Eve don't have nothing to offer to an Israelite man. And one of them said that too. It was a video. Yep. I think it was on TikTok. This one black woman said, or well, so-called black woman, you know, this one Jew like woman said how uh, she really has nothing to offer a man outside of sex. Yeah, you know? so as you elevate as a man, yeah, you're attracted to certain women, but you become very aware of the fact that old girl really don't have nothing to offer because she has the same value that she had back when she was 16, 17, 18 back in high school. Yeah. And she never developed any more value outside of her looks. And as you elevate as a man, you're going to need more than that, man. Like, I'm learning to understand that, man, peace is more important than a piece of ass. You see? And that sex don't fucking last long, man. No. Nope. At, at, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, you you come to your senses and you like, man, you know, like, what am I doing here? You know, because, yeah. you know, the Lord He wants to keep an edge, man. And, and once again, we balance it out, brothers, and you sisters that listen. Don't think that we telling you, uh, you can't have a uh, a decent or a stable relationship in the truth, because you can. We've seen it. You know, certain brothers and sisters had that, but in a lot of cases, it's not that way. For certain, you know, men and, and even women, you know, to be in a certain spirit, you know, following Yahweh Shah. Because I can say, especially after, you know, me, uh, you know, going out of town for a little bit, but just seeing certain things, I do believe, you know, it's certain men and women that, that are not necessarily like, you know, uh, prophets or, or uh, prophets, I'm speaking about the man and dealing with you women, you know, um, hey, it's certain women, you know, they, they may not be on the forefront so to speak because you know real women you ain't gonna see them out there like that any damn way it ain't gonna be like a what's that group uh with that man and his wife uh the watchman yeah cut. something like that you know mm -hmm. hey, women ain't gonna be on the forefront that really believe but i'm saying all that to say you know based off of what i've seen and you know what i believe in the spirit is certain you know men and women outside of doing what we do that follow your house shot i believe there's certain sisters out there but you don't see them like that there's certain women because, you know, that's in the scriptures. There's certain women that did follow the Lord, but they're going to have a certain spirit about them, man. You know? But, you know, when you listen to our videos, our focal point is really on the brothers. Because it's about, you know, us as men growing. You know, we got to reclaim our manhood back, man. You know? We've been... Man, we don't realize how bad we've got did in this society, man. That's the reason why, hey, the Lord wants certain brothers solo. Or, you know... If you get a woman, man, she need to follow you. These, these, well, I got to quote uh, Priest Ayashimoth. These houses need to be in order, man. Because how, how's this, this uh, being led by Eve? Hey, you going to die. All right. Hey, hey, if you can't rule that household, if that woman want to try to run you, leave that bitch, man. Just say it like it is. Because she going to get you killed. She going to get you killed. She going to get your little ones killed. She going to get herself killed, man. You know, if, if, if the situation is chaotic, leave. All right, just fucking leave, man. But you know, getting back on point, like the elder was going into, brothers, we got to think bigger than what America taught us, man. Because you know, like the elder was going into, the Lord is grooming us 
to be future rulers. So we got to learn, you know, to uh, to really value ourselves, man. You know, we really been, you know, lowering ourselves, you know. I mean, our standards, man, is 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 shitty. You know, we got to get more on point, man. Hey, because the Lord, hey, hey the, uh, the second most powerful being in the universe, when he comes back, what he's going to give us, we got to be ready for that. You know, so our uh, our insight on life got to be different, man. You know, hey, that's a beautiful point, man. I couldn't have said it much any better. You know, step outside the nigga box and prepare for glory. Prepare for glory, man. Hey, well, you had anything else? Nah, that was it, bro. Hey, with that, we hope your brothers and sisters were edified once again. We want to give all honor and glory to how yeah, by Shimmy, I was shot by Shimon Kakudashi. That were underscore our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone rule well, peace and blessings, health and wellness. To the house of David the elect, the Baba Ball. Come here, Shalom. Shalom.